Watch out, watch out, watch out. Love that tune. Go for it. This is Pip Taylor in association with LoveThatTune.com and tonight we are at the Briggs Poll Awards 2009. We are here live at the one, the only, Fat Break. By the way, we're ready to lay this first track down, 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 down. It's obviously going to be the year for Nat, yeah. but that's, you know, that's obviously, yeah. But yeah, who am I thinking about? I mean, Free Ball Collective are kind of picking up my ears as a live band, you know, they're kind of breaks and live band, I think they're going to do quite well. Um, the Equalizers and Ben for the, on the tear-out scene, they're breaking through, Specimen 8, obviously, as well, for the tear-out kind of sound. Um, for the sort of more funky stuff, I don't really know, I, I know that Funky Breaks doesn't seem to be making a big impression at the moment. Yeah. I think the sort of like, the way I see Breaks going at the moment, it seems to be getting a little bit more urban, it seems to be getting a little bit more with the baseline stuff, and, um, you know, who knows? You know, that's, I'm back to you.com, you can yeah. out. <laughs> you know where to find it on the Um, I think it might do, yeah. I mean, 
mean, basically, we, we've always been known as being like, well, people pigeonhole us as like the, the darkest you can get in breaks, which is absolute bullshit. Like, we really are quite diverse. Like, our music's got a lot of kind of, um, a lot more palatable over the years. Our DJ set, as stereotype, you'll hear like Slayer, Royce Song, like Rage Against the Machine, Chemical Brothers, like Foreign Beggars, you know, you'll hear everything. And like, I think, you know, you raise an interesting point, we probably will take that for the next album project and kind of do this with different genres. But really, if you're going to put a debut album out, you can't alienate your market. Now we're uh, showcasing our new album with a five deck showcase and uh, all the vocalists from our album, so yeah. Yeah, well, that's, what's that noise, isn't it? That's right, who, yeah. who did you collaborate with on that? Uh, we've had Spider, Beardy Man, Tali, Foreign Beggars, uh, Ben, Break Passers, Everyone, anyone is anyone. Yeah. You've we been busy boys. Yeah, we have. We, did, we did actually write it. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. Tell me a bit about that. The guy's a living legend, man. He's, uh, yeah, and to be honest, what he's going to do tonight, we don't even know what he's going to do yeah. tonight. It's basically completely improvised. But I, I guarantee you, if you're there, you'll laugh your bollocks off. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're pleased that we won. I mean, it's really nice to get recognition after, you know, working so hard because we do sit in the studio a lot, of, a lot of hours you know, of every week, and um, you know, so it's just nice to get a recognition in the end. Guys, if you could collaborate with one person from the, like, it doesn't have to be from the rave industry, like anyone, who would it be? Sorry. All the all the notes for classic '80s love ballad, <laughs> definitely. Lovethattune.com. We have had an epic evening. Thanks for joining me, Pip Taylor, on lovethattune.com in association with Beatport. See you next time.